Healthcare workers all over are doing their best to stay isolated from high-risk loved ones in order to best protect them. For some, that's more difficult than others. But a startup fund is trying to give every healthcare worker who needs isolation a free place to stay. Evening Edition's Charlie Walter has that story. Josiah Myers is the CEO of Ariva, a company owning nearly 150 vacation homes throughout Ohio. When the coronavirus pandemic hit, his occupancy rates went from 95% to 10%, forcing his company to adapt. We're fortunate enough to be small enough to where we can actually adapt and innovate and think on our feet. And then gleaming right in our face was the fact that there's all these caregivers that, are, that need isolated um, housing away from their families. That's when Myers and staff went full nonprofit and have now housed over 100 caregivers. So the first one was actually for profit and then we saw them in the unit and we're like, why don't we just, you know, turn this into a nonprofit. The company is connected with unoccupied hotels and vacation homes leading to the Caregiver Shelter Fund, which now offers plenty of isolated living space in Lexington and for that matter, all over the country. Our biggest partnership is with uh, Doubletree and Holiday Inn Express. So in any market, we can we connect with those guys and they will give us 150 to 200 units. Myers told me that before the pandemic hit, he had zero experience in nonprofit, but now feels really good that his company can provide positivity during this time. One of our uh, caregivers was sleeping in their car. We got them out of that situation. She didn't want to bring it back to her like, grandparents that she was living with. How long this goes, I don't know. But as long as there's a need for people to want to isolate and have, um, you know, nice housing that's free for the people that are fighting this, we're going to keep on doing it. And I mean, it's just, it feels good. It feels good to get back. Charlie Walter, LAX 18 News.